Hello and welcome to my new Let's Play. Um, this is Johnny's S. So basically, I've decided to make a new Let's Play exploring the lives of the pre-made Sim families that come with Sims 4 game. I'm talking about the base game. So Oasis Springs and uh, Pleasant View. <laughs> Am I saying that wrong? Oasis Springs and Willow Creek. Pleasant View. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, so I'm going to start by playing out the story of Johnny Zest. Um, my plan is to play the first three Sim days, keeping them as close to the story as I can. Then after that, I'm going to take creative freedom, give them a makeover as I see fit, <laughs> if I feel like it, and start changing things up in their life, taking control over it, but I still want to try to stick to the basic storyline that The Sims 4 has set up for us. So this is Johnny Zest. He is the son of the land grab. Surprise, surprise. I'm actually going to read you guys what is in the Sims 4 um, game guide. They have all of his background story. So, the scenario. Johnny Zest has the stage name and the dream, but maybe not the talent. Disowned by the land grabs for quitting school, Johnny wants to make his own fame and fortune as a stand-up comedian. Johnny lives in a single wide trailer, which is perfect for a household of one. While he has started a career as an entertainer, he should advance through the comedy branch to help him achieve his aspirations. Invest in a computer so Johnny can continue working on his comedy skill. Get into the social venues in the world, such as the lounges and bars, so he can practice his jokes with other sims. So, he starts off with 3,590 simoleons, and he is in a one-bedroom, one-bath house. And, yeah, he is the only person in his house. He has the aspiration of a joke star. He is in the entertainer career in level 2. He has, the only skills he has is comedy, level 2. He is ambitious, a goofball, gregarious, and outgoing. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the only information they give us. So based on that, I'm going to try to play his story. So it says that he's disowned by the land grabs, but if you look at his genealogy, it shows nothing. So I'm going to take that as their past hating each other to the point where they basically pretend that the other doesn't exist. So I'm not going to like try to go out and immediately talk to them or something like that. So yeah, let's see where Johnny Zest's story turns out. Let's see if he can become the joke star he wants to be if it was worth losing contact with his family and completely starting over. Uh, I want to do an overview of his house because I think it is really quirky and fun. They say he is in a single wide trailer, which I don't really think you see a lot of in The Sims 4. So I think it's really fun how they have kind of made it look like a trailer. Obviously there's not wheels under there, but I like that they kind of gave it that lattice look and put these like industrial like air conditioning, outdoor air conditioning looking units and stuff. Uh, I'm kind of curious to why they decided he needed to have a garden with all of these tacky <laughs> gnomes. I'm sorry, I think they're really cute, but I mean, compared to his parents' house, it's definitely not, you know, luxurious. And yeah, let's look inside of his house, kind of get an idea. He has this one little tiny bedroom. He doesn't even have a nightstand. He's got a little bathroom, but it's not the smallest bathroom I've seen in The Sims by far. He has a little green, tiny, cute kitchen. And it looks like he's got a red theme going on in his living room. He has a guitar, a TV, a radio, and a microphone. So he's got a few things to do, actually. I'm going to go ahead and put the walls up for you guys to see everything. Here is his little trailer. <laughs> I think this is fun. This is a great uh, start to playing the pre-made sims because Johnny lives alone. He is a single sim. So I want to kind of work my way up to playing larger families. But he is the only single sim pre-made household in the game. So 
let's go ahead and start playing his story. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go. He wants to go watch TV. You do that. I want to check on and see what his needs are. He's pretty cool. So since I just started the saved game, I believe that the Welcome Dragon will come soon. So I don't really want to get him doing anything too soon, only because he's going to get interrupted by the Welcome Dragon anyway. So if he wants to watch TV, that's fine. Once the welcome wagon, <laughs> once the welcome wagon leaves, I'm gonna have him probably scavenge for rocks and things because I'm already seeing some around his lot. Because he only has three thousand five hundred and ninety simoleons, and I think his bills are probably gonna be a little bit higher than that because he has a few extra things. He has a bit more than just the bare minimums in his house. Plus, he has all the stuff outside. I feel like his bills are going to be taking a big chunk of his money, to say the least. He is feeling confident from incredible texts. I wonder who he was texting. And he's feeling good. He's watching the action channel. I'm actually going to switch that and have him watch the comedy channel so we can get a start on that. As far as his career, he is level two. He is an open mic seeker. He has work in two days and he needs to achieve level two of the guitar or violin skill and write or practice, write music or practice. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today. He has to write jokes or practice music. Since he doesn't have a computer, I might actually probably have him just practice music because he already has a guitar, so why not? Hmm, it doesn't seem like the welcome wagon is going to come. They're going to come as soon as it's Katrina. And Dennis, I think, let's see who that was. I think for playing out um, these cre pre existed uh, household. <laughs> These pre-existing households, these pre-existing families, I don't want to make any relationships with other pre-existing families. I want to kind of keep them separately. So as it comes for future spouses and things, I'm going to have them only marry either created sims by myself or if you guys want to submit some or just plain townies. So it is Sunday. So I'm going to count this as day one. After day three, we're probably going to give him a makeover and probably change some stuff around in his house. But I want to play as is just to kind of get a feel of what the creators of The Sims 4 had in mind for this character. Um, I think that's best done by just leaving it how it is. So that's how I'm going to play. Okay, let's have him go ahead and practice his comedy skill. Tell jokes. Because he needs to achieve... Actually, he doesn't have to practice jokes at all for his... For his career. Well, since he's in a playful mood from watching TV, I'm gonna have him just do this because he's probably gonna need that later on. So let's go ahead and fast forward through that until he gets a skill point. Let's see. Oh. Who is that? Connor of Spain. Mm, we're good. Let's watch him for a little bit. I definitely see the land grab resemblance. He's got that classic land grab blonde hair. But he seems a little bit more pure than the land grabs. He, you know, is a goofball. He's outgoing. He's ambitious. He seems a lot sweeter, especially compared to his younger brother. Jeffrey? No, I'm sorry. Malcolm. Malcolm would be his older brother. Jeffrey Landgrab is his dad. But yeah. <laughs> That's very cute. Alright. How far is he? He's almost there. Get it. Why 
gonna keep that down in case I see someone interesting outside. Alright, like I said, I wanted to go collect some things because he's pretty broke. He doesn't actually have work for two days. So I want to get to making money a little bit sooner than that. Let's see. Frogs! Ribbit, ribbit. Let's, we can't harvest that. I don't see any rocks. Oop, there's one. Let's dig that. Can we harvest this? Probably not. Oh, he can actually harvest some stuff already. Um, can we harvest this? Nope. Okay, let's get this rock right here. Dig, 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 dig. Hi ho, hi ho. Let's off to work. You go. Do do do. Who are you? She looks pretty. She is an adult though. She's a bit old for us. She is super cute. She definitely has a pretty face. Anyway, let's have him stop telling jokes and go collect those things. And when he gets finished, let's have him practice playing the guitar. Because he needs to practice music and get a level 2 of guitar or violin. So we'll be working on both of those work goals. So yeah, let's watch him. We got one dirt frog! Woohoo! Dirty frogs, just what everyone loves to have in their inventory. I wish that they could catch bugs in this one. They're cute. I want to have butterfly collection. <laughs> I think his outfit is a little bit like old for him, in my opinion. It looks like someone much older would wear his outfit. So that's definitely something I want to change. Especially since he wants to be a comedian. I feel like a comedian would be better received in a more laid back kind of outfit. He's dressed pretty formally. So maybe that's just the clothes he had from being in the land grab estate because they're all business type people. Maybe that's all he had with him. But we'll see. We're going to have him play guitar. I'm actually going to turn... Oops. I'm going to turn auto lights on since he doesn't have a lot of money. He's learning the guitar skill, which means he's going to suck. It's not bad. It's better than I would be if I just randomly picked it up. I'm going to zoom out though so it's not so loud. Let's see what he has in his inventory. Ah, he collected an egg! Yes, I don't even want to sell it. I'm going to keep it just because eggs is not a year-round thing. It only comes during Easter, so we're going to keep that. But I am going to, uh, I'm just going to sell the fossils. I'm going to sell this, the chrysanthemums. And I'm going to keep the frogs, so that way if we find another we can breed them to make a little bit of side money. Oh wow, he's improving really quickly, so maybe he has a bit of a natural talent. Maybe that's why he wanted to run away. That's why he wanted to pursue, you know, being an entertainer. He wants to entertain people because it's what he's good at. And obviously his parents, being business people, did not understand such a creative, non-traditional type of job. I'm going to snoop over here to see if there's anyone interesting walking by while he practices playing guitar. There's Dina. 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 Dina or Dina. I always get them confused. Dina. And Jay Huntington. This is a cute house. Let's see. He cannot harvest that. <laughs> uh, that's a sage bush, actually. My fiance was making a dish with sausage that required sage and we bought some and like 
like a dummy, I decided to taste it and put a whole sage leaf in my mouth. Do not do that. It is disgusting. <laughs> and it is the weirdest texture in your mouth. Sage is a fuzzy herb. It is not good. Do not do that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. He's gonna go to the restroom. Let's see. He's pretty good in everything else. So let's go ahead and have him finish practicing some music. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so sorry. He is 50% done practicing music, but he still has to gain more skill points in guitar. He now has level three in comedy, one in gardening, and one in guitar. He knows Vivian Lewis and Katrina Caliente. They're both just acquaintances though. He knows, he knows Vivian because she is also a comedian. And he has 20 days to age up, so he's like just now a young adult. He really doesn't sound that bad. Some of my sims. Some of my sims are really awful, but he's not doing that bad. I'm pretty impressed with him. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it because I just wanted him to reach level two of the guitar skill. Do 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 do. I wish that they had a more active uh, entertainer career like they did in The Sims 2 with uh, Showtime. That was really t really cool. Okay, he has gotten to level 2 of the... What is he making? Do not make scrambled eggs. <laughs> he has now reached level 2 of the guitar skill. So he should have done what he needed to for his job. He has. So he should be in good standing for when he goes to work, but what mood does he need to be in? He needs to be inspired, which is super easy. So now we can just kind of chill until he has work. It is Sunday, and he has work on, well it says in three days. No, <laughs> excuse me, he has 23 hours. He has work tomorrow. I was looking at his vacation days like a dummy. But he is hungry, so I'm going to have him make something, but I do not want him making scrambled eggs because he will burn it. He has zero cooking skill. Let's have him make a garden salad because that's the only thing he can make at this point. It doesn't require a stove. Let's do that. And then I think I'm going to have him go out, maybe try to make some friends and meet some people. Because he's pretty good besides that. He's got his stuff done for work. His needs are looking pretty good. He doesn't have much going on in this house, so I think he should get out. Woohoo! He has acquired the cooking skill and is now less likely to burn down my house. But he also has some pretty cheap appliances, so I'm going to try not to use his stove that much until he's probably at least to level 3 in cooking. Just because I'm terrified of the house burning down. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the fun of The Sims sometimes, but I'm just not prepared for that right now. Sorry if you guys heard my phone go off in the background. That's disgusting. Johnny, no. <laughs> Johnny, no. I hate that The Sims do that. Let's see the rest of this thing. You go eat that. I mean, he is in a trailer, but really, his house is not, like, that bad. I'm gonna have him listen to music while he eats. Kind of put him in a good mood. I think he can do both. Yeah. I like the Sim music. I really loved the Sim music in The Sims 2 and 1, especially. Not really the music from the radio, but the, like build mode, buy mode, and loading screen. It was great. Every time I hear it, I feel really nostalgic because I've been playing since The Sims 1. <sighs> good days. Good days. I uh, have a lot about The Sims 4 that I don't necessarily love, but, you know, I just can't quit it. I love it. I'm 
It's just a game I really enjoy. I've always loved The Sims. But I can't wait to see what's in store for The Sims 4 and just The Sims game in general. He has a cute little house. It definitely has an interesting feel. I guess he has, they thought putting these candles would make him look like he had less money. But they kind of give it more of a like, gothic feel. It makes me think of the goth's house. But he has a really eclectic uh, style choice. He's got greens, reds, darker colors, yellows, browns. I think, just really quick, I want to look at his room. I think this, uh, this Sims painting is really cute. It's got this lady on a, on a rocket ship. She looks a little bit like me, because I have red hair. <laughs> what a cutie. Anyway, I'm going to have him travel, and we're going to go to... I'm going to send him probably to a lounge. So let's travel, and I'll see you guys whenever I get him there. Alright, welcome to the Solar Flare Lounge in Oasis Springs. I'm going to have him come here and go upstairs. Looks like there's already some people here. Let's check out the competition. Ooh, he is not good. I apologize if it's kind of loud. It's terrible coming here because there's him playing music, her talking. Let's go ahead and practice. See if he can get some tips, I guess. There's so many people, and it's so loud. I apologize that it's so loud. Let's see, Vivian Lewis is here. This guy is called... Ooh. I'm not sure how to say his name. Marilyn Scenario. She is a teenager. There is Mortimer and Nancy, which I'm surprised is here. And she looks like she's cheering us on. We've got Courtney Harding, who's an adult. An adult. So many adults. Where is all the young adults? <laughs> I'm gonna go over here a little bit away from all that noise. I don't know. He's kind of a bit of a rebel. He's feeling tense because of frayed nerves. Hearing instruments played poorly is distressing to the most stoic of all of us. Aww. Stoic. I'm sorry. Maybe he would be into someone older. He's really young. He is really rebellious. And he probably wouldn't really care that much. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> That's just awful. Well, it's pretty late already. It's 9 p.m. So I'm not going to keep him out too much longer. I don't think he can actually get tips right now because he's too low of a level. Well, to him, come over here and make friends with her. I think this is the girl we saw earlier. She's really cute. I like her little purple dress. She's really into that music. It's gonna come give her a friendly introduction. He's like, sup. I like your dress. Reminds me of grapes. <laughs> Not smooth at all. Friendly introduction? Is he gonna talk to her? There is his dad. His dad and his mom are here. I, I wonder. That's kind of awkward. I wonder if they secretly were checking up on him because they knew he is in the entertainer field, so they figured he might be here. That's a little awkward. She looks a little bit weirded out by him. Oh, she looks so angry. Let's impersonate a celebrity. 
He's feeling confident. No, she's feeling confident. I think she's way more into the music than she is him. <laughs> I know. It feels a little awkward having his parents here. Oh no, he fell asleep. He's not even that tired. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna send him home because he's falling asleep on the couch. That's definitely not the kind of impression he wants his parents to have. Even if he's falling apart, I don't think he would want his family to think that he's failing. I feel like Johnny is very hard-willed and he can't ask for help. He feels like he has to make it no matter what. It's not like he is thinking, oh man, how am I going to do this? He's thinking, how can I not do this? So I'm going to have him go home and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're back. He is at his house and I'm going to send him to bed because he must be really tired if he's going to fall asleep on a couch in a very noisy lounge. And I think I'm going to go ahead and in this part right here. So, thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you stick around for my next part and see where the life of Johnny Zest is going to go. He is definitely a big dreamer. He has a lot of dreams that he wants to make happen. And no matter if his parents believed in him or not, Johnny believes in himself. So, I feel like we're going to do our best to help him get to where he wants to be. So today is the first day of his story and the next two days I'm going to go ahead and just keep things pretty close to the story, not changing much and then after that we're going to make over, give him a little bit of a makeover and see what else we might want to change. Alright guys, this is the Caffeinated Simmer and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.